the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody, back. Have you checked your fruit today? Did you, you know, last time I, I reminded you, I believe I was talking about love. Did you check love today? Have you checked on that? Did you, did you demonstrate love to your fellow brother? I ain't said be a sucker. I said just be showing love. And you say, y'all like everybody, but you can love everybody. And love everybody is, I'm going to give you a bit of about doubt. And if I have to move away from you because you got me to be bearing fruit, then I'm going to do that. But I still want to say I do love you. And I do care enough to think about you. At least pray for you. At least give you a smile, right? So, the, the day then is of the characteristics of the fruits of the Spirit. Have you checked your joy today? Are you joyful? Or are you depressed? Are you angry? Are you mad? Or are you showing the joy of the Lord? Huh? Remember this. Here's a scripture to remind you again. Not only that, we should remind each other. We should train ourselves to bear and conform to the image of God. And in of God, he says right here, the characteristics of the fruits of the Spirit is Revelation 5, 22. But the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, patience, gentleness, goodness, faith, which means faithfulness, weakness, temperance, which means self-control, against such there is no law. Have you checked your fruit today? And I put some scripts up here. Nehemiah 18 said, Then he said unto them, Go ye your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord. Neither be ye sorry, sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. And therefore, I want you to understand the whole purpose is the joy of the Lord is where you operate from because that's where you get your strength from. It's the joy that comes from Him. Even Christ, He, 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 he got on that cross for the joy that was set before Him. Us becoming brethren and sisters of Christ. Amen? Conforming to the image of God. Look at this right here in John 16, 33. These things I've spoken to you in this world. Okay, excuse me. These things I've spoken to you that you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation. So be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. And you know, that's the thing about being an overcomer. Is the fact is that we need to recognize we already have a victory. Yeah, we're gonna have tribulation. That's what the scripture said. You're gonna have tribulation, but you're gonna overcome. We're gonna overcome those things. We're gonna keep moving, keep living, and we're gonna keep performing to the image of God. Have you checked your fruit today? Have you checked your joy today? What's going on with you? What are you thinking about? Right? If you're angry, if you're depressed, then maybe we need to take the fact is that, hey, that's not the image of God. The image of God is joy. And the joy is joy. It will give me the strength to keep pressing through through my life, recognizing that I have already overcome because of what he did, not because of what I did. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Have you checked your food today? Well, that's my reminder for you today. Check your joy. Check it out. I'd rather have joy in my heart than depression and fear. God didn't give us fear of fear, love, power, and a sound mind. Have you checked your food today? Work on it. That's all he asked you to do. Work on it. All right? All right. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Just a reminder. That's all I'm trying to do. Sell some reminders on the fruit of the Spirit, and that we need to conform to the image of God, and the image is based on these characteristics of God. So today, have you checked your fruit? How's joy coming more in your life? Okay? All right. God bless you, and I'll catch you next time.